welcome to the Speed Week Recap Show. 2012 600 Pennsylvania Speed Week, night number three was held at the Path Valley Speedway. There would be some familiar faces at the front through the heat race action, as Mike Dicely and Ryan Greth would grab the top two spots in passing points after the set of heat races were completed. Shane Lewis, Timmy Barrick, and Jim Radney would make up the rest of the top five, bringing the 24-car field to the green flag for night number three. At the drop of the green flag, it would be Mike Dicely pulling into the early race lead. Ryan Greth would jump into second, and the two would begin to pull away. A violent wreck on lap number two by Jared Esch would bring out the red flag, with Dicely and Greth leading Lewis, Charlie Brown, and Mike Rutherford. On the restart, it would again be Dicely and Greth pulling away from the field. A mere six laps later, lap traffic was on the horizon, with Dicely holding about a seven or eight car length advantage over Ryan Greth. The yellow on lap number eight was for Ryan Greth. Greth catching the backstretch wall. Dicely remained the race leader, but now Shane Lewis was the second place car. Charlie Brown was up to third, Rutherford fourth, and Jim Radney back into the top five. On the restart, Dicely would pull away as the field would go back to racing. Brock Zerfoss had begun his charge from deeper in the field. Zerfoss had climbed to eighth. Mike Rutherford began to challenge Charlie Brown, but Brown was able to hold on to the third position. With 14 laps down, Jim Radney starting to slow as Mike Dicely again had gotten a lap traffic. Another yellow flag helps Dicely and gets him open racetrack. This time he leads Shane Lewis, Charlie Brown, Mike Rutherford, and now Scott Sawyer into the top five. On the restart, Dicely would again pull away to a comfortable advantage. At the halfway mark with 15 laps down, it's Dicely leading over Lewis, Brown, Rutherford, and Sawyer. Making up the rest of the top 10 were Brock Zerfoss, Cameron Morrell, Timmy Barrick, Joe B. Miller, and Richie Hartman. With 20 laps down, Dicely's advantage had grown even more over Lewis as Charlie Brown started to reel Lewis in, Rutherford still pressuring Brown. Lap traffic would become a factor for Mike Dicely for the first time in the race on lap 21. Dicely's lead was about half a straightaway over Lewis, but Lewis began to close on lap number 25 as Dicely got caught up in traffic. With two laps to go, Dicely's half a straightaway lead was continuing to shrink as Lewis and Brown reeled him in. Quickly, Dicely would do away with lap traffic and start to open up the advantage as Lewis and Brown had caught the traffic. Everybody running in their normal position. Although Lewis and Brown would close in on Dicely, it was not quick enough as Mike Dicely would drive to his fifth career Speed Week victory. Now Mike Dicely leads all time with the most 600 Speed Week wins with five. It's Dicely's first win in over two years on the Speed Week Tour. Dicely took the win over Shane Lewis. The two came into the night tied for the point lead. Now Dicely secures the lead by one point. Dicely and Lewis were 1-2 with Charlie Brown finishing third. Brown's the highest finishing Australian ever in a Speed Week event. Mike Rutherford was fourth. Oklahoma Scott Sawyer made up the top five. Brock Zerfoss was sixth. Joe B. Miller was seventh. Timmy Barrick, Cameron Morrell were eighth and ninth. And Richie Hartman drove the RTS home to a top ten finish. Looking at the point standings, Mike Dicely does hold a one-point advantage over Shane Lewis. Then it's a little while back to Joe B. Miller and Brock Zerfoss, who are tied for third with 148 points. Mike Rutherford rounds out the top five in points with 139. Scott Sawyer, Tyler Walton, Richie Hartman, Ryan Grath, and Tyler Walker are the top ten in Speed Week points, heading into Wednesday's event at the Clinton County Speedway. It'll be the Clinton first time County that the 600 night. Speed Week has visited it's Clinton County, night. and it seems like it's anybody's ball game. Make sure you continue to follow closely, if not at the Speedway, with us here on the Speed Week Recap Show.